video, you'll learn how to identify the chart element that's clicked and display the series points data in a tooltip. I'll start with a new WinForms application. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to work with a small list of data. I right-click on the form and switch to code view. In the form1.cs file, I add the following small class. In the form's load event, I create a list object. Then, I manually populate it with some data. I switch back to design view. From the toolbox, I drag and drop a chart control onto the form. The chart wizard is invoked automatically. I switch over to the series page and remove the two automatically generated series. I'll be creating one later from code. I click finish to close the wizard. I select the empty chart control and set its dock property to fill. I return to code view. Within the form's load event, I add the following code to bind the chart control to the sample list of data. Notice that I need to create a reference to the devexpress.extracharts namespace. I switch to design view. From the toolbox, I drag and drop a button control onto the form and dock it to the bottom. I'll set its caption to show wizard. I double click on it to create a handler for its click event. First, I'm going to add a reference to the devexpress.extracharts.wizard namespace. Back in the event handler, I create a new wizard and assign it to the chart control on the form. Then I add the code to display the wizard. I run the application to demonstrate the default behavior. I click on the Show Wizard button and the Chart Wizard is invoked. Pay attention to the order of the pages listed in the construction group. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use code to move the Appearance page to the bottom of the construction group. I close the wizard and the application to return to Visual Studio. In the Event Handler, I create a new list of Type Wizard Page. It's then populated with the pages from the construction group. I'm using index 0 because construction was the first group on the wizard. Then I create a wizard page and initialize it to the second page of the construction group, hence the index 1. I remove the appearance page from the list. And I add it again. Since this isn't being sorted in any special way, the newly added appearance page will automatically end up as the last item within the construction group. Finally, I set the pages collection equal to the list I created and modified earlier. And I'm done. I run the application again to see the results. I click on the button again to invoke the chart wizard. And now, you can see that the appearance page has been moved to the bottom of the items in the construction group. For more information, please refer to the Extra Charts documentation. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.